killer. I want to start off the video in the beginning just saying that <clears throat> maybe in the next coming days or so or maybe next week actually on the 26th ish like uh, like around that time like around like next week on like Wednesday or Thursday uh, I might start streaming on Twitch again because uh, just feel like wanting to stream on Twitch again just seems like something I should probably be doing uh, instead of just only making videos on like YouTube and stuff like that, but uh, it really depends on how I feel in the next coming days. I think I'm gonna end up doing it anyways, but I just want to point that out really quick in the beginning of the video. So, anyways, we're reviewing board to episode 29, and the episode wasn't, you know, it actually wasn't that bad. It was actually pretty decent. I actually enjoyed watching some of the stuff that happened in the episode. And I would highly recommend that you do watch it, and for those of you who aren't watching the Boruto anime, and who are only watching, like, uh, reviews from people on on YouTube, obviously, should, you know, give, it a, give this arc a chance, because it shows a lot of promise, it shows that it can do what we want them to do, like, the writers are aware of that, and it seems like they're actually starting to kind of go into fruition with that and that's really good that they are doing that that they are paying attention at least a little bit and you know are giving us what we want so the episode starts off with the new seven ninja swordsmen uh getting you know their swords obviously if they want to be the, the new seven sword the new seven swordsmen and stuff like that and of course uh i actually kind of predicted who uh would get some of the fucking swords that were there uh, it was obvious that uh, Shizuma was gonna get Samayahara, or Shark Skin. I think that's what it's called. Uh, some of them I wasn't entirely like not, you know right about who was gonna get it, but I was pretty close to who was gonna get this one particular, you know, miss seven uh, seven miss swords and shit like that. So the episode starts off with them getting their seven swords. All of them are getting their swords finally, so they can officially be the new seven swordsmen. I guess you can kind of quote call them uh they kind of fight these like robot controlled puppets and you know destroy them i uh, don't really know the point and why they did this in the beginning but maybe it was just to like show off the seven inch swords again because we haven't seen them in a long time but uh, i mean i mean i guess i guess that makes sense considering that we haven't seen we haven't seen them since like the war arc and we haven't seen semi hada use since you know after kisame you know pretty much died and then you know b kind of gave it up or whatever gave it back rather so we got to see a little bit of the seven swords again uh we get the fucking intro that i almost kind of want to hate but kind of want to like at the same time <laughs> I'm, I'm actually not kidding about that. I, I like I like kind of want I, I kind of want to like it, but I kind of hate it at the same time. Uh, then we go back to where the Seven Swords were held at, and we get the all the official names of the new Seven Swordsmen. Uh, I don't really care for some of their names besides Kagura, Shizuma, and stuff like that because those are the, those are the only two ones that I pretty much like out of any of the Seven Swordsmen, the new Seven Swordsmen, because they're all they're all honestly just like really not threatening in some sort of way i mean I, you can say the same thing for uh like the original seven swordsman that we saw back in shippuden but you have to think back and when we saw you know when we saw fucking zabuza in the beginning of part one you know he was a part of the seven of swordsman because he had executioner's blade and he was very threatening. He was very threatening, especially for, you know, the start of a series. It was fucking insane. And then we saw fucking Kisame and his fucking sword, like, eats up chakra and shit. Uh, it was able to go against, you know, Kisame was able to go against a Chinchuriki of the, uh, the Eight Tails, Killer B, with just himself and Samaihara. You know, you know. Eventually, later on in that fight, you know, he kind of lost Samaihara, but still, with the help of Samaihara, he did a lot of damage against Killer B. So, you have to really think that you know, whoever would get these swords again would have to be really threatening. Whoever, whoever was the one that got Executioner's Blade, I don't really too much care for him. I don't really care for his design that much either. I think he's kind of like 
just eh. And then of course Jizuma is is probably one of the one of my favorite villains just so far or antagonist you can call him uh, that's so far showed up in a series so far in the anime. He seems the only one who seems to be like kind of like the more favorable one. And then there's Kagura, and then it would be like any of the other like five five of them, you know. No one really cares for the other seven ninja swordsmen besides like Kagura and Shizuma, and that's pretty much it. Only reason why people like Sh uh, Shizuma in the first place is because, excuse me, he has a good motive. It's the fact that he's also a Hoshigaki, and it's the fact that he's uh, was obviously going to wield Samehata again, so there's that. Well, we get back to uh, the scene. Uh, Mei is talking to Chojuro and stuff like that. Chojuro is like, yeah, we got to fucking kill him. Yeah, and then uh, Mei was like, does that include Kagura too? And he was like, yeah, it does. Uh, Boruto and Sarada, I guess, heard about this somehow. I don't know how they did, but they did, and so uh, they go and talk to Chojuro, and they're saying, like, ah, Kagura is not bad, yada yada yada, bullshit bullshit, um, and then he starts trying to convince Chojuro to kind of, like, give him a chance for him to, like, kind of, you know, go against the, the new Seven Swordsmen, and then return back and, you know, help out with the village and stuff like that. Uh, they go into a little bit of politics in this episode, and I'm not really gonna explain like how and what they did in the episode that brings up politics but they do it's mainly because of the fact that Shizuma brings up the fact that he knows a couple of guys who are connected to the feudal lords of the land of water I guess and also the fact that Boruto in the same scene that I was just talking about when he's talking to Tojiro in the beginning uh, ish part of the episode he brings up the fact that if he had went back to the leaf with the injuries that he has and showed Naruto you know, Naruto wouldn't really like that, so, you know, in order to kind of, like, convince Jojiro to allow Boruto and Sawada to, you know, kind of save Kagura, I guess, in some sort of way, we pretty much did that. We fast forward a little bit in the episode, we get a stupid fucking scene of Kagura talking to himself. Uh, fast forward a little bit after that. Uh, I want to point out really quick that this episode actually went through a lot of what it wanted to do pretty quickly and frequently, which I, you know, and, and not against with, because sometimes when it's, like, episodes like these, when it's, like, kind of supposed to set up for, like, a cliffhanger, because that's what it, I guess it kind of did, but not really at the same time, but, uh, it kind of went off really quickly with a lot of stuff that it wanted to do and what it wanted to you know, I guess show off with what it, what it was in, and it, it, it did really quickly, and I'm not, I'm not against it. We get another scene, anyways, of Sugetsu and uh, Mitsuki, they're talking to each other, uh, Sugetsu's saying to Mitsuki's like, ah, don't go and help Boruto and Sarada and stuff like that, because if anybody from the Mist Village found out that you're connected to Orochimaru, that wouldn't really be a good thing. And then so he gets to immediately, you know, takes it back and he's like, eh, but I want you to help him out anyways, because I really don't like the new Seven Swordsman. Uh don't I don't really remember why he says he, he doesn't like him, but he straight up just doesn't like him. And I think a lot of people would agree, uh, that they don't really like the new Seven Swordsman either. But regardless, we got to see Sogetsu again. Sogetsu's always kind of enjoyable to see. Uh, in just any episode that he's in. He's kind of enjoyable. He's not one of my like top 10 favorites, but he's kind of enjoyable to see, and I don't really hate him either, so it was nice to, it was nice to see him again. Uh, uh, they, they kind of set up like that Shikadai and Inojin are going to go help out Boruto as well, because they had a scene where they noticed that Sawada and Boruto were talking to Denki, saying like if they don't make it by roll call make up an excuse and shit they go and try to follow him and then they actually spot Mitsuki and Shikadai uh, just stuff like that I, I thought that was kind of I, I thought that should be kind of like pointed out uh, we get to the memorial that they have there uh, they're getting prepared to I guess like take it down or whatever uh, Borto and Sour to stop him, obviously. And Ka uh, Kagura is like, ah, I don't really want to fight you. Where I, 
um, you know, Shizuma is obviously like being like really cocky. He's like, oh, it's the Hokage son. Uh, and then it's like Shoujo was like, oh, you were gonna try to kill him? Oh, how about you say that to me, motherfucker? And just whatever, right? And so, yeah, it just kind of shows up. Uh, a little bit of action, not a lot for the episode for the, the run time that they had. Uh, Chojuro gets sewn up with uh, the one sword, who's, which name I don't remember. They have a lot of monologue uh, between three to seven swordsmen uh, and Chojuro because they don't like him. And the episode establishes that they don't like him and that they really want them to go back to being the Blood Mist Village. Which, you know, we already kind of established that in previous episodes, which I don't understand why they had to kind of go through all this monologuing, but they did, and now that I'm talking about it and mentioning it, it now kind of pisses me off because they literally stood there, kind of did a whole bunch of shit that, to him, trying to, like, you know, kind of injure him, but kind of trying to, like, kill him at the same time, and they weren't doing a great fucking job at it either it just, it just was a scene that I wish that wasn't in the episode but I, I guess I don't mind it either I just I just wish they kind of just you know moved on and kind of tried to attack him like whilst he was sewn up and he and he couldn't fucking move you know but whatever that happened it's water under the bridge I guess you can say uh, the episode ends off with Kagura walking through the mist getting ready to you know attack boruto and that that's pretty much it so overall episode overall was pretty good it was actually pretty enjoyable maybe there was like one or two things that i really didn't like like overall other than that you know it, it was fine you know it was it's it's you know it's watchable you know it's fine it was really good i didn't enjoy it there was a lot of stuff that i didn't expect them to do with the episode but they did and it only leads up to hopefully hopefully seeing chojuro you know just dick on these fucking new seven swordsmen because there's there's no fucking way that these that these kids you know with the seven swords you know can you know actually put put up against the fucking Mizukage Chojuro like Chojuro doesn't have his sword anymore but this is a Mizukage a fucking Kage like uh, like they even point out in the episode that like ah uh, or rather Boruto Boruto even points it out saying like ah uh, this is just like a fight between kids who don't know what they're doing yada 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 you know so it's like if they treat it like that next week and they actually kind of you know make Chojuro complete shit on these motherfuckers that will be really enjoyable, and I hope they actually do that. So, anyways, that's the end of the episode. That's the end of the review. Uh, and it's the end of the video. So, if you guys did enjoy, be sure to drop a like. And if you're new to the channel, consider hitting that subscribe subscribe button. I'm fucking stuttering and I have saliva in my mouth and shit. I'm gonna go ahead and the end of the video.